the cars do it itself. So we then went to electronic distributors. Yeah. We've already looked at this. Done. We've already done this on the last last one. So optical sensor. Again, we have looked at this. So that's why I said it is going to be a whistle stop tool. So optical is basically a disc with holes in for each spark plug. Sends an infrared light. Yeah, all the time there's a disc through there, there's no light getting through. The moment it hits a hole, the light goes through, sends a signal, coil, sends the voltage down to yeah. the distributor. The distributor sends the voltage to each spark plug at the correct time. Yeah, very simple all optical one with just a blade, works exactly the same way. And that's your sort of voltage pattern, your waveform that you're going to get. Hall effect, magnetic induction, which is generally what we're using for our ABS sensors, our crankshaft sensors, our camshaft sensors. So it's just a magnet with a chip. And as the trigger wheel goes, it cuts across the magnetic field, the chip's not receiving a magnetic pulse, so therefore no signal. The moment there's a gap, it receives a signal, sends a volt pattern down to the ICM. This one gets rid of the vein, gets rid of the covers, and just uses two magnets. Yeah, so when you've got north and north fighting against each other, you've obviously got that repelling action, which creates a voltage signal. Yeah. So inductive and Hall effect are basically the same sensor, they just work slightly differently. Hall effect one magnet in a chip and you block off the magnetic field. Inductive, you're using two magnets to repel against each other. Okay, two, three, yeah, okay. ICM we've already done. And that's level three sort of stuff. Can you just stop with the so just very quickly on that one where it says the dwell control circuit controls the dwell period. The dwell period is the period for the coil to build up the voltage. It's known as the dwell period. How long the coil builds up the voltage. Okay. You can have dwell angles, generally for mechanical, when that's obviously the angle it rotates between, it collapses and lets the voltage drop. So the bigger the angle, the bigger the dwell period. Yeah, but that's all dwell period means. How long, or the period of time, the coil is charging up, building that voltage. Yeah, the longer the dwell period, the longer the coil is building up that voltage. Right, okay, very quickly then, this one you'll need. Obviously, as we started progressing with electronic ignition, because you're relying on signals to go over there before they go over there and then back to the distributor, this we could mount directly onto the distributor. So we've got rid of the king lead, we've put the coil straight onto it. HEI coils, high energy ignition coils. So we need all of this, yeah? Yes, please. It means you can have quicker switching speeds, which means you can have higher primary circuits, i.e. you can have a higher voltage going in straight away, which means you get higher output voltages. There's an E-core coil, which is surrounded by your laminated frame, and there you go, your low inductive primary allows very fast switching from 12 to 40,000 volts. Yeah, rather than, as a really basic example, but yeah, your old mechanical systems, to that, and you're still getting that high voltage, just by changing the setup of the coil.
Biscuits are still eating long. Two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, throw those in again. <laughs> Sitting in the sun. Listen to the wrapper. I just want to break it too. Hello, Dave. Oh, that's good. Right. Yeah, it could be better as well. In 20, 20 years. Oh, my God. 